Alright folks and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the Amazon Associate Program. For anybody who doesn't know, the Amazon Associate Program is a scheme that Amazon developed for content creators and people that have websites to basically generate things called reference links by linking products to other people, advertising for Amazon and then people gain a certain amount of revenue. Basically we generate links to certain products, people click on the links, they buy stuff and we get a cut of it. Now, I had a massive run in with Amazon where I had applied for the associate program in the UK and I got my account authorised and opened and then two hours later I had it taken down saying I didn't have a big enough reach and a wide enough audience. So it took me a while to draft it up but I drafted up an angry email or letter if you'd like and Amazon decided they would give me back my affiliate account. Now I am an affiliate with the UK and the US because a lot of the demographics from my channel is from the US although I reside in the UK in Northern Ireland. So basically this video I'm going to talk about the differences between the Amazon UK and Amazon US uh, for the Associates program and basically it will shed a lot of insight to people that maybe hadn't thought about doing this that are content creators that maybe are subscribed to my channel and you can you know maybe try and apply for it and argue your case like I did but uh, there's a lot of interesting things in here that you probably will need to see because the layout for the UK associate program is not the best and I do have to say I prefer the Americans layout and the way to generate links a hell of a lot better than the UK's. But anyway, let's get into the video. Okay folks, so as you can see here I have seven tabs open on my internet browser. Uh, three of them are Amazon UK. One is the affiliate link checker. The other two are the interface for Amazon Associate when you actually click the uh, button to go into the Associates part of the website. And the other tab is the Amazon UK homepage. The two American links are the Amazon.com uh, homepage and the Amazon.com affiliate uh, interface. And the other two are two little guides that I found after a lot of sifting through uh, numerous pieces of information on the web as to how to actually shorten down your links and... Uh, get them as nice as possible for Amazon.com and .co.uk. So as I've clicked into the Amazon.co.uk's uh, homepage, uh, you can see below the actual search bar, we can see this like grey bar. This is the associates uh, bar. And as you can see, there's numerous options here. And on the Amazon American homepage you can see it's very similar to the UK's bar the option short link to this page. This is exclusive only to the American Amazon and this is detrimental as to why I think the American Amazon Associates is actually better than the UK's. So as I've clicked into the Amazon.co.uk's uh, uh, Associates like interface page you can see here it says get a product link and it says keyword or ASIN slash ISBN. Now I'm just going to explain what that is. That is something that is used on every single um, Amazon product. And when you go into product details you will find that code. So for purposes of this video we are going to use the Witcher 3 to generate reference links to. As you can see here on the left hand side of the associates page, uh, whether it be the UK or the US, I have my uh, account ID or tag ID, which will be what I'll need later on in the video for my reference link. So going on to the uh, UK page, I'm going to type in The Witcher 3 here, and I'm going to try and get the PC version of the game so that I can show you exactly how to generate your reference link. Okay, so once you're in the Witcher 3 page and you click link to this page on the UK Amazon, you're going to see a whole pile of crap to do with like HTML coding and uh, how to put the link in with HTML code 
text and images or text only or image only all these uh, options that are useless when you're looking them for a YouTube video as you can see here with the text only option I'm gonna right click and get uh, the link location and try it out but uh, when I go to put it in here you'll see the link is very big clunky and kind of messy see we've got a big massive link there which we don't want we want to shorten it and make it as sweet as possible so it looks nice in our YouTube description so flying over to the American Amazon I'm going to do the exact same thing type in Witcher 3 and I'm just going to show you the difference straight away so clicking into the PC version of the Witcher 3 on the American Amazon I'm going to click the short link to this page option and as you can see Amazon has generated a shortened URL uh, for the Witcher 3 and it's actually got the reference link and all embedded in it so this is a handy tool that the American Amazon has uh, over the UK's because to be quite honest the UK's it's really clunky and a real bad system so going over to the uh, crazybob.org article where we are given two formulas for if we're looking to link an item uh, we can see the formula amazon.com forward slash dp forward slash asin as I was talking before the asin can be found obviously in the product details of that item and where it says tag equals your associates ID you just replace your uh, associates ID there in that formula to whatever you sign in on the associates whatever your username is obviously for the uh, associates program so scrolling down here on the Witcher 3 on Amazon UK we get the ASIN code we're gonna copy that so the associates ID we're gonna go back to Amazon UK and I'm gonna show you my associates ID uh, where it should be shown it should be shown in the left hand side Right, so now we have all of our components to uh, fill in our template for the reference link. So let's do this. So as you can see, I've clicked into the Amazon UK link checker. I am going to put in the template that is on crazybob.org's article. And I'm going to rejig it for the Witcher 3. Stick it in there and see whether it is a successful reference link or not. So copying the formula and pasting it into the URL checker. All we have to do is just replace the little parts of the formula that uh, make it our own. So obviously the formula was Amazon.com. For purposes of this video, obviously I'm operating outside of the UK. So I'm going to put .co.uk instead of .com for this. Just to show you how to do this. Because the American Amazon Associate, you know, it's very easy to generate links on the... Uh, UK's like I said numerous times in this video is really messy and really awful but this is probably your best bet to get as short a link as possible okay so copying the ASIN code and uh, sticking it into the formula we have that and then we're going to change our associate ID copy it over perfect it says success the link tags to a valid tag or sub tag for your associate ID so that means your reference link is actually working which is great to hear as you can see here obviously the layout of the American Amazon associate page is different to the UK's there's more options on the US one and the UK ones is just really bland in my opinion just awful funny thing is I actually had a friend uh, help me out with this and getting everything sorted and he actually had to sift through a load of information to actually figure out how to shorten the uh, URLs for the Amazon affiliate links and he actually worked for Amazon which I think is absolutely crazy considering it's so unuser friendly for the UK version and yet the US you just press one button on a product and that's you sweet so guys that's going to wrap up my video on how to generate reference links for Amazon UK and US associates program if you enjoyed the video, please throw a big fucking thumbs up on that bad boy. If you really like my content, please subscribe to my channel. It helps me out an awful lot. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter at ForTheBanterNI. Until next time, my friends. Goodbye.